Need to create an empty string in Python? We got you covered. This tutorial will cover creating an empty string in Python, and we'll look at a few different ways to create empty strings, and we'll talk about why we create empty strings and when to use them. Now, creating an empty string in Python is not as hard as it seems. And there are a few different ways to do it. One way is by using double quotes. Simple, right? And this approach creates an empty string by enclosing nothing between the two sets of those quotes. And this is probably the most common method for creating an empty string in Python. But you can also use single quotes. And this is the second approach. It creates an empty string by enclosing nothing between two single quotes. This is just like using double quotes, except single quotes are literals. So later, if you want to add a string into this, you can put in quotes and other characters and things like that, and it'll include it literally inside this quote. The third approach creates an empty string by enclosing nothing between three sets of double quotes. Now, this is usually used for multi-line strings and things like that, but you can use this to create an empty quote. And once again, if you want to come in here later and put in a multi-line string, it's pretty easy because you've already got the quotes here. Most of these, there, there's really not much difference between it. Now, another way is using the string function. By making a call to str, which doesn't contain any arguments, this method will create an empty string. If you want to convert a value into a string, but don't seek any default values, this will do it for you. Using the char function. Now, this is one of the ways in which an empty string can be made by calling the char function with a zero. And that zero ASCII code represents a null character. So what this does is it creates a string with no characters whatsoever. You can do the same thing using ORD. You simply pass it an empty string and then it will create an empty string. Now, why in the heck would you use an empty string? In this example, we have two variables, name and age. The name variable is initialized to an empty string because there's no name provided, and the age variable is initialized to zero because there's no age provided. And this is good for defaults. This is a way that you can check if somebody has entered a name or an age because you know to expect name to be completely blank and age to be zero. Therefore, if you want to check that anybody's modified either of those things, then they're going to be different. Now, maybe you want to check for an empty string. And again, one of the reasons to check for an empty string is to basically see if somebody has entered something or given you some sort of information. And if the string's empty, then you know they haven't. So when you declare something blank, you can do a check like this that says, is the string empty? Yes, it is. Or is it not empty? Okay, and let's take a look at this method here. Now, name, as in the name variable, is outside of the scope of the check name method. So it can be used outside of that method anywhere in the application. Now, inside the check name method, we can check to see if it's blank. If we know that it's blank, then we know that they have not entered their name yet. If it's not blank, then we can say hello name, right? So we can initialize name in here and assign it something or even ask for user input. But then name is only available within this check name function. By having it declared outside the function, it gives it a larger scope throughout the rest of the application. And maybe we don't have a value for it yet. So we can declare name here and then make it empty and use it throughout the app later. So creating an empty string in Python is a simple task, can be done in variable ways, and knowing how to create an empty string is pretty important. We've discussed different methods of creating an empty string and common use cases for that. Understanding these concepts will help you write more efficient and readable code. Subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more about Python.